arrived in the mountains right when the leaves began to change. More than a month later, it's still not safe to drink the water. And it's having a big impact on tourism. Businesses can't prepare or serve some foods. Some hotels can't host guests. While crews work to restore some potable water there, state officials are working to help lodging businesses reopen. WRL's Chelsea Donovan explains what hotels and motels can do to reopen as quickly as possible. We take for granted being able to come to the sink, brush our teeth, simply have a drink or wash dishes. But for more than a month, communities in Western Carolina don't have that luxury and it's impacting the services they come to expect. The city of Asheville is hard at work testing the water to make it drinkable and safe. This is video of crews installing water curtains this week to filter out chemicals, sewage and toxins. This is unlike anything I've ever worked on before. State Environmental Health Director Larry Michael says thousands of hotels and restaurants are still under a boil water advisory. The way op things operated a couple months ago is not the way they operate today. Most hotels now provide bottled water for hand washing and brushing your teeth. And that is one step closer to reopening, including having power. The hotels and motels uh, not only serve tourists that are going to the Western North Carolina at this time of year, but they also provide a safe place for volunteers and families. Here is what hotels and restaurants must have to reopen under a new emergency operations plan. The facility must be free from sewage or wastewater backup. The facility must be able to flush toilets. Any food or ice prepared using non-potable water will be discarded. Ice machines and water fountains must be off. Coming up on WREL News at 530, we speak with the North Carolina Restaurant and Lodging Association as they provide more tips for you on your next trip to Western North Carolina. Chelsea Donovan, WREL News.